How's everybody doing? Let's talk about gym game. So I had a question come through uh, last night. Was asked of me, well, what do you do for your gym game? How do you, you know, how, how can you approach or pick up women at the gym? So good question, because that's one that dudes mess up all the time. So we'll go, we'll go over that. All right. So first of all, um. When you, there's there's more that you want to be aware of what not to do than what to do, okay? The gym is a place that people are going to for different reasons, um, but obviously you're there. The, the whole purpose is to get fit, take care of yourself. Now, a lot of women go there because they're searching for, you know, a dude to hook up with. They're basically dressing and behaving in a way to try to gather male attention. Um, a lot of your younger women especially are there to gather male attention just to boost their own egos and their own sense of sexual market value so they could, you know, go off and find the guy that they want, have that confidence or whatever, or, or whatever. I mean, it, attention is currency for a female, so... Um, so just, you know, be aware there's different reasons people go, but what you want to do first of all is you want to take yourself out of the social structure of the gym. So within every gym, there's a social structure. There's people who go there and they, they run their mouths more than they hit the weights. You know, they're not there for, you know, they're there for a purpose, but it's a social gathering for them. And you see these guys pining for female attention, you know, being the nice guy or being the, you know, the conversational guy in the gym to the females. And you see these guys there and they're busy making friends rather than making gains. Okay. So your first thing, and I don't care if you're 130 pounds soaking wet or if you're 230 pounds and shredded, uh, you want to you want to not be that guy, so that's the first thing, because that's somebody who is weaker on the social order and structure, someone who's pining for attention and for companionship from other people uh, in this gym environment. Isn't somebody who's going to be seen as the stronger dominant person in the environment? So there's some, such a thing as being like the circumstantial or you know, circumstantial alpha, so to speak, right? So, for example, if I join the chess club, you know, I'm, a lot of people would see me as a dominant alpha male kind of a person, but if I join the, the you know, if I join a chess club and I'm getting my ass kicked <laughs> in chess all over the place and uh, there's a couple of uh, guys who are maybe not as physically dominant but are just like cleaning, like can clean my clock and chess and the whole purpose of this club is to play chess and all that and there's a whole social order around it. I, you know, in that circumstance, at least as it applies to the ch game of chess and in that social order, I might not be the apex alpha there. Do you know what I mean? Because I'm not the best in that circumstance. You know, in the jujitsu gym, for example, the guy who's the black belt and rolling everybody up might be the circumstantial alpha in that circumstance, but then at his work, you know, he's middle management, he's not the circumstantial alpha there. So there's a little bit of that, so you have to kind of assess, are you the circumstantial alpha in your gym or not? Meaning, are you the, are you the most jacked dude in that gym or one of them? You know, so that makes a big difference, kind of, 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 of whether or not you're gonna get noticed. You know, so, but even if you're not, though, you just want to take yourself out of that social order. You don't want to be the person who's pining for attention. You want to be the person who's there to work out. So I'm a big proponent as far as game is concerned. And when I say game, for those of you not familiar, just game is another way of saying communication with women, okay? It's communicating with women in a manner that illustrates your sexual market value and that, you know, uh, sets you up for, you know, for, for basically dating, courting, 
and ending up with a potential mate. Okay, that's what game is. All right, um, so it's nothing you know sinister or I don't know weird about it. It's not just picking up on women, but it's it's just it's kind of that communication. All right, and so I mean I'm not a proponent of you know specifically doing like that PUA community stuff necessarily if you're because if you're trying to be your own man and your own mental point of origin achieve goals achieve your purpose your purpose isn't a woman I'm sorry it's just not it shouldn't be your purpose is outside of any chick okay your purpose shouldn't be picking up on women your purpose shouldn't be how many women you're gonna go sleep with you know what I mean that doesn't mean you can't sleep with a bunch of women but that's not your purpose in life and so Instead of focusing all on that, I say you focus on your goals and what you're doing. And then as women come into your life along the way, then you can properly game them. And so it doesn't matter whether you're at the store, whether you're at the bar, whether you're, you know, going to some party, meeting, you know, going to a, a friend's wedding, you know, whatever in your stag or whether you're, you know, at, I'd say at work, but you got to watch what you do at work, but, you know, or at the gym, right? There's, so there's different places and then the circumstance presents itself where a woman is, is available and shows indicators of interest and then you're able to capitalize on that and get her on a date. So that's kind of the best and if you're if you're your own mental point of origin as a man, that's how I recommend that. And there's and if you look around you, if you're a higher value male, um, there's no shortage of women for you to be able to do that as long as you're not sitting in as long as you don't work like IT, you know, IT from home or something and you never leave the house. I mean, if you get out of your house there's women everywhere, and it's it's just it's pretty easy, honestly. If you could get at it, it's like shooting fish in a barrel. All right, so back to the gym game, though. So you don't want to be the guy that is pining for attention. You don't want to be the guy who's trying to talk to all the women. You don't want to be the guy who's helping chicks work out. You don't want to be the guy who's talking to women while they're trying in the middle of a set. Like you don't want to be that guy. So what you do is you go in the gym, and first of all. You're there for a purpose, and that purpose should be to make some gains, blow off some steam, and to get your workout in. And so that's all you focus on, F, you know? And so as you walk through the gym and you go from whether, you know, piece of equipment to piece of equipment, whatever you're doing, you got your tunes in, shut the world off with your tunes, and have a confident posture. Walk around with your head up, walk from piece of equipment to piece of equipment, and if people are no people will just notice you. People will notice you because you're on your purpose. Very few people shut the world off and hit their workout and hit it hard and actually accomplish goals in the gym. You watch most people's physiques, it's the same every year, okay? Because <laughs> they're not really accomplishing anything. The gym is an outlet for them, which is fine, but they're not that goal focused. So if you're a goal focused man and you're walked in, doesn't matter. You could be 130 pounds soaking wet. You're goal focused and you're hitting your pieces of equipment, you're going to get noticed. You know? Now, obviously, the better looking guy you are, the more jacked you are, you know, if you're closer to that, you know, how far over that top 20% hump you are in males, that's gonna make a difference on, you know, your attention, the level of attention that, that happens for you or not, of course. But even if you're not in that top 20%, you know just being on purpose and focused is going to get you noticed while everybody else is trying to pine for some female's attention. So now you put yourself in a position where if they want your attention, they're going to have to try to get it. You know what I mean? And so then you, you're doing that, but you're aware of your surroundings too. You notice who's looking at you. You notice who notices you, you know? And so as you walk past somebody or whatever, if some girl is looking at you, noticing you, she's showing indicator of interest by noticing you, looking at you. You know, and go ahead and just throw a nod, a wink, or a smile. So, you know, you're walking, you're pretty serious face because you're working out. You know, but you notice somebody just, whatever, give, give them a little smile. You know, give them a little wink or whatever as you walk by. And that's it. That's all you have to do. So, if they respond with a smile or whatever or say hi to you or something like that, then everything else is easy. You just make sure that circumstantially there is no situation where she is in the middle of something okay you can just pretty much walk you know approach or walk up and just say hey how's your workout today or how you doing that's it 
You don't need to have a line. You don't, I don't recommend a line, a line of some sort in the gym. You don't need to have some clever hook. You really don't. Most of this is done, again, through body language and through your sense of purpose. If you have a sense of purpose and you're in there to actually accomplish it, and you're going to get noticed. And as you get noticed, you know, if you see a female that's good potential for you, you know, then you re reciprocate that. You reciprocate that um, um, that attention that she's giving you, that noticing, with like I said, a smile, a nod, a wink, or whatever. Nothing cheesy, you know, not like, you know, but just just kind of like, you know, like hey, whatever, you know, and she if she responds to that in a positive way, you're already green lighted. You know what I mean? And that's at a point where it doesn't interrupt your purpose and workout or interrupt hers. Just make an approach and open, all right? And then from there, it's this the normal thing, you know, quick conversation and then just set up a date, you know? And the other videos will talk about, I guess, setting the date up. But that's what you want to do. Gym, gym game is really simple. It's really easy. Well, it's easy for me. Um, it's not easy for everybody, I guess, but... The biggest thing is, is you don't want to be the annoying guy who's coming up to chicks and bothering them at the gym. Like, you don't want to be that guy. So as long as you're not that guy, your, your gym game will be okay. And then the other thing is be patient. You don't need to be in a rush. If you're going to a gym, especially if you have a, 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 a rather set schedule and you're kind of hitting at the same time every day, you're going to run into the same female again. Like, you're going to see the same females in that gym. So you don't want to be the the thirsty beta male running around trying to, you know, hook up with all the girls in the gym. That's going to get noticed real quick and you'll be seen as that guy and it's unattractive. You know what I mean? So be there and be on your purpose. And then as these females come into your orbit, which if they're attracted to you and interested, they will come into your orbit. And then you just simply, you know, smile, wink, nod, say hello, whatever, give them a quick, Hey, whatever they respond in kind then you just strike up a conversation and it's really that simple but you strike up that conversation either in the moment or at a later time it has to be in a time where it doesn't take you off your purpose you're not in the middle of your workout you know in the middle of a set trying to talk to a girl or trying to talk to her when she's in the middle of her stuff you know what I mean that that's again that goes back to being that annoying guy so that's the biggest thing be on purpose Work on your body language, your confidence, recognizing their body language too, indicators of interest, how, you know, it, recognizing whether or not they're interested in you. Other videos we can talk about more about body language too. Um, but, but that's it. You know, stay on purpose. Don't be the annoying guy. And you'll be surprised how far you go because so many guys are the annoying guy at the gym. So, um, so don't be that guy. And um, just, 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 as the opportunity arises, don't be in a rush, then go ahead and strike up that conversation. You'll do just fine. All right, great question. Thanks for sending, thanks for asking. And um, any more, if you guys have any more questions, anything like that, just shoot me a message and I'll see if I can address them in the video. All right, thanks again.